hello guys welcome back to my channel to this tutorial all right so we have been talking about javascript operators for a couple of videos now and we have or we already have five videos that um we published under this uh topic which is the javascript operators all right we have the arithmetic we have the ass uh, assignment operators we have the comparison operators we have the logical operators general operators and then today we're going to be talking about the ternary operators all right so if you have not seen any of this video i will advise that you go back and watch these videos we have it in our channel all right okay guys so let's head on to the, um to the topic of the day so today we're looking at the ternary operator or also known as the conditional operator so um the ternary operator is is a, a compact way of writing a conditional statement all right or I, we could say is a simpler way or the shorthand let me call it shorthand yeah it's a shorthand way of writing a simple conditional statement and this is why it is called a conditional um operator so i'm gonna um give you the syntax on how this works okay so first of all for the syntax let's head over the syntax um syntax that was wrong syntax okay so the syntax here first of all we're going to check for a condition that is why it is basically called a code because the, the value that will be the result that will be rendered is is determined by the condition so first of all we're going to have condition here condition all right and then we're going to check if that if that condition if condition then we have expression one something like this expression one um sorry this was not supposed to be here this is not supposed to be here so we're gonna check expression one and then or um, expression two expression two so this is basically the syntax of um, a ternary operator so what happened is um, we first of all check for a condition and if that condition evaluates to true then the first expression is going to be executed otherwise the second expression will be executed so this is why we say it is for a simple conditional statement uh and simple conditional statement is basically if s like it's mostly for if x uh, s not s if if else so if this happens else do this and uh, i i remember we have not treated the if else but we are still going to come into it all right so it we all make sense when we get to that um to, to, to the control flows okay so for, for now just stay with me with the ternary operators so you're going to relate to it later all right all right so uh, i'm going to write a very simple uh, if else statement and then we are going to um write the same statement using the conditional operator stuff all right okay so let's head on so um i'm going to declare a variable here we're going to say var x all right x is equal to uh as is equal to true we're gonna make it to be true and then we're gonna write if statement we're gonna say if um we're gonna say if s x all right that if x x so what we're saying if s that means if s is true when we say if s the same thing as saying if s um s is equal to true if it's equal to true so it's the same thing so we don't have to put the equal to true so we come over here we say we're going to console log console.log we're going to say uh, s is or x is true all right then else so we're saying else then s is going to be false you know because it's either s is true or x is false so else we're going to say uh, console.log we will say that s is false so one of these what happened is if s is true then this will be this block of code will be executed if s is not true the second block of code will be executed so but both of them are not going to be executed at the same time so this is why it is called conditional because um the execution uh, the, the block of code to be executed is dependent on the value of x or, all right whether it is true or false so let's head over to our browser and then refresh this so we see that s is true now yeah, s is true because here s is true and then if we say change the value from true to false we say s is false so let's see the the um the code that we run we say x s 
x is false so we say that x is false okay so another thing we're going to do another way we can do this let's use age we say uh we say that age age is assigned to the value of uh age is assigned to the value of let's say 10 okay so here we want to check if age if age is um if age is greater than or equal to 18 all right so if age is greater than or equal to 18 we will say that you are an adult all right so if your age you're, if you're up to 18 or you're greater than or you're over 18 then you're an adult else we're gonna say you are still a child all right or we can say still a kid okay so let's head over to our browser and then refresh and see what we're going to get so it said you are still a kid yeah because um here age is 18 so let's make it to be 20 let's increase it to 20 and see what we're going to get so we increase it to 20 we have you are an adult okay so this is a conditional statement all right so um basically this is how we, we we write it you can, this is how we write if statement but we can use the ternary operators you know we can use the ternary operators to shorten this whole process okay we're going to use the ternary operators to shorten this whole process so we're going to refactor this if statement now if we check this how many lines of code we do we have we have one two three four five six okay so we have six six lines of code if we are using the normal uh, if and if else but with the ternary we can just write it in we can, we can refactor this code and have it in one single line all right so we're going to follow this rule the rule say check condition now i just i want you to i want you to first of all relate relate this this expression we have here to what we have right here okay so how are we going to do that now look at this this is a condition this is where we check the condition and this is exactly where the condition is being checked okay and then this is the first expression and then this is our first expression all right and this is the second expression and also this is the second expression and then remember the rule is um if this the first expression is true this code is going to run this um yeah this line of code will be executed and also here if this expression is equal to true the the first expression is going to be executed now if this statement is false the first block will be ignored it will move over to the second block and then run whatever that is in the second block because we're using the else you know else means other case if this is not true any other case that you know any other case just run this so if this is not true then any other case run this so this is how we can start our refactoring okay so let's um start writing so we say we have our bracket now remember we have open and closing brackets here so we're simply going to copy this yeah we're not going to be writing we're not going to be writing anything new we just simply copy what we have and use it for the refactoring all right so we're going to copy this we come down here and then we paste it right here and we have this um exclamation mark which is um the ternary operator so we add it here then our expression one look at our expression one here so we copy it from here this is our expression one we're going to copy this copy from here and then we we'll place it right here and then we have the second uh, uh the second symbol which represent the else and we're going to place it here and then our expression two sorry this was supposed to be expression two so we copy our expression two right here control c and then control v all right guys so that is all we need to do so you see um this uh how many five lines of code is just being compressed into one all right just one single line so instead of writing the whole of this you can simply write something like this as as simple as that so i'm going to comment this one out because i don't want it to interfere i don't want to, i don't want to consider it so that we can see what we're doing i'm going to um sorry I'm going to cons um, a comment this this thing out and then we only have this so let's head over to our browser and refresh and see what we've got refresh so you see we, we still have the same value you are an adult yeah because you hear um, age is greater than 20 age is greater than 18 so let's decrease this value to 
17 all right we head over to our browser and then refresh you have you are still a kid okay guys so um, instead of you writing this this plenty things you can simply write this simple so always follow this um, syntax to avoid you know errors if you remove any of these for instance if i remove this you can see this is already generating an error here if i decide to remove this one this one also this is going to generate error also here so make sure you follow the syntax rule okay all right guys so thank you very much for watching and um i hope you've learned something like i normally say please keep practicing practicing and practicing mastering comes by constant practicing okay mastery comes by constant practicing all right what we are doing is teaching you and if you learn this and practice it you're going to master it and when you master it you're going to become good in javascript all right and god bless you for that okay guys so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel share this video click on the notification bell so that you be the first to get notified when we post more videos and also don't forget to hit the like button all right thank you so much guys for staying to the end of the video so uh, our next video is going to be the last one on javascript operators and that's the bitwise operators all right okay guys so do have a very nice and lovely day bye bye